Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Poetry Slam as part of the Ikna Da'wa Conference. Uh, my name is Kashmir Merim and I am one of your hosts for this evening. Um, just a little bit about myself before we get into talking about the actual Poetry Slam and introducing our poets on uh, the virtual platform, alhamdulillah. So I am also a spoken word poet myself. Um, Previously, I performed in a lot of poetry slams and I enjoy performance, but more importantly, I enjoy listening to um, other poets perform. And so I'm really excited for today, uh, inshallah. And um, yeah, and I'm also an author. I have written two books. One is a collection of poetry and the other is uh, a more recent book called The Muslim Woman's Manifesto. It's kind of like a self-help book, but for Muslim women, uh, I specifically tailored it to talking about spiritual issues that we go through. It's very relevant to da'wah and the kinds of things that we are going through in these times of confusion. Um, and yeah, and so uh, that's pretty much my introduction. And I'm going to pass it over to my co-host, who, who also happens to be my sister. Um, and she's also the founder, and we are the co-founders together of a movement called The Strangers. Um, so I'll pass the book over to you, Aisha, and you can um, introduce yourself and also what The Strangers as a project does. Jazak, uh, Jazak sister. Um, so The Strangers is basically an organization. Um, our aim is to clear up misconceptions, revive the message of Islam, and we threw this through um, different means. The main means is through spoken word. Um, we also do other things where, for example, um, you know, uh, writing projects, freedom write projects, um, the Uyghur campaign, etc. If you are interested in finding out more about The Strangers Do, inshallah, all you need to do is go onto our website, which is the strangers, um, the strangers poets dot info. It's very easy. Hopefully you'll be able to get it and um, we will say it again during the session, inshallah. Um, as for myself, I am Aisha and um, my information is on the website as well. And Kashmir Miriam is my sister. I'm really looking forward to this, inshallah. And um, we're going to pass it back on to Kashmir and she's going to go through um, basically uh, the rules and everything. And then the next step, the, the step we've all been waiting for, the poets, inshallah. Yeah, thank you for that, Aisha. So uh, we're going to jump right into the rules, ground rules for the poets and also the judging criteria for us as the judges this time around. Um, because last time, alhamdulillah, we had a huge lineup and we were very ambitious. We tried to get everyone on, but we went very over time. Um, so this time around, we want to be very strict with our timing and we want to make sure that all our poets have an opportunity to um, come on. And obviously, this is a virtual platform, so we have to... Um, make sure that everything is done in a timely way and we don't have any uh, technical issues, inshallah. So um, we pray that it goes smoothly. Please make a dua for us and also be very supportive throughout all of the poems and, um, you know, as we smoothly move through and transition through all of our performers. Um, so, okay, rules. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. Now, for all of the performers who are lined up and who are listening, the rules they have they're already very aware of uh, but for our audience it's pretty simple it's just each performer has up to three minutes for their poem um we let them know when to begin it begins from the first word of their poem and we'll be timing that inshallah the second rule is that we ask that the content of the poem is relevant to the theme of this conference so it's a very general theme you know they have a lot of artistic freedom to talk about islam in a time of confusion you can talk about that way, you can talk about purpose, anything that you think is creatively relevant to the theme. Um, and we will be looking at that when we are, you know, uh, scoring each of our performers, inshallah. Um, and the third one is just a general rule that we just hope that all of our performers understand to be respectful to one another, to, to others who are listening, um, to understand that we may have um, young children uh, also watching who probably should be sleeping by now. Um, but just to keep the content very appropriate, no cursing and, you know, just uh, standard rules of being appropriate. Um, and finally, the judging criteria. So as we all know, every single time judging is probably the hardest thing. And if it were up to me and Aisha, we really wouldn't, we just absolutely try and shy away from the role of, ju of judging. Uh, but this time around, we thought it would be 
better for us to contribute to the judging panel just because it is a virtual platform and it's hard to have so many people and moving parts. Um, and we wanted to offer a fair chance to all of our poets without having necessarily like a ranking order. Um, and we also have opened up the platform. So we have young poets involved too. And that's really important to us because we're trying to have them creatively involved in very, uh, you know, mature and relevant discussions like that one because they offer such a powerful perspective in that. And I think that's important to have them involved. Um, so with that being said, we do ask that, um, you know, in, in terms of the, uh, the, the judging criteria, you know, for this is a, a specific message tailored to the poet. So we ask that number one, that your content is relevant to the theme. That is a, a criteria that we will be looking at when judging. Um, you know, I'm sure that you have a lot of freedom to talk about many things within that. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, inshallah. The second thing we will be looking at is your performance and your delivery. Um, so the difference between slam poetry and written poetry, um, or even, uh, you know, like um, reading poetry is very different to, to the culture of performance. And, you know, the delivery, I think, is something that really enhances your poem and your content. It allows for the words that you're speaking or that you had written to connect with the hearts and the, the minds of the people that you are talking to. Um, so just to bear that in mind and to not have to worry about, you know, who, who's watching you and how many people might be seeing you, uh, but to just focus in like as if you're talking to someone in your room that might help you with your performance um, and just to engage with the words that you're saying. That is something that we'll be looking at, inshallah. And the final category that we will be judging on is the audience engagement. So now this is a message specifically for our listeners out there. If you like what you hear, if you have a line or, you know, a poet says a line that resonates with you, we ask that you share your support and your feedback in the comments section. That is something that we will be looking at. Um, it just shows us how much that poem has connected with you. Um, because, you know, as we know, poetry is very subjective. What might resonate with me might, res uh, you know, might not resonate with someone else, but a particular line might strike you in a way that it doesn't strike someone else. So, we do ask that you show your love, you show your support, and again, you'd be respectful in the comment section. And um, that's pretty much it. So we have the grand rule sorted. We have our judging criteria. Um, and just to let our performers know that if they do go over three minutes, you have a grace period of 10 seconds. So after that, we will have to, unfortunately, deduct points. Um, but I'm sure that from, you know, reviewing all of your content upon your, you know, submissions that you just, uh, that all of them should be within that time frame. Um, so without any further ado, we will be introducing. Can I, add, yeah. can I add one, yep. one couple of small things? So, um, as for the three minute grace period, um, now with the, I know that the performers, they might get a little bit nervous, um, but don't worry about it. Just do the best that you can do. If you go over, you go over God willing, you know, that should be fine. Um, and we will definitely, um, don't, it's not it's not the end of the world don't get nervous i can i can already feel the anxiety rising right now don't worry about it uh, that's to our performers now to our audience um now your role as the audience is crucial meaning that whatever you know you what whatever comments that you make whatever likes that you give to the performers um that's going to be heavily taken into account because as we said we don't have any external judges um from my sister and i so um you are also the judges so please 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 take that very seriously as well okay so inshallah kashmir you want to introduce the next person <laughs> sorry yes, the so i believe we so I, I believe we are going back to Sister Yasmin. Yes. Inshallah, if we are able to get her on. Assalamu alaikum. Oh. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you, Sister Yasmin? Alhamdulillah, how are you? Alhamdulillah. We are good. Alhamdulillah, better now that we can actually hear you. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Yes. So, Sister Yasmin, tell us a little bit about yourself and what inspired your poem, the poem that you will be performing today, inshallah. Uh, well, um, I'm actually living in Virginia right now. I was born and lived in New York most um, part of my life. And uh, actually, it was a topic that was uh, uh, another contest was um, giving us a choice to write about a topic. And that's a topic that I chose to write about. So um, the poem is called um, What I Like Most About Islam. 
So it basically talks about how uh, Islam came to raise the position of certain sects of people in society and how to improve um, uh, the community and people in general. Okay, perfectly relevant. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much. Okay, so whenever you are ready, you can begin, inshallah. All right. It's hard to say what I like most about Islam. Is it Allah's mercy, compassion, or the Holy Quran? It's a religion sent from God, not made up by any man. It is the truth, not fairy tales, nor folklore, nor a lie. For which of Allah's favors upon us can anyone deny? It's a religion that benefits all people and all creations, came to save the world from evil and temptations, sent as a guidance from above seven skies, as a whole way of life for those who are wise. A mercy to mankind, giving hope and aspiration, came to free slaves and give them liberation. It has given victory to the weak and oppressed, gave a helping hand to the needy and distressed, Women have been honored, treated with respect and admiration, elevating their status and improving their situation. Parents have been raised to the highest of ranks. To Allah and to them, we must all give thanks. Paradise was placed under the feet of the mother, so be sure she gets priority above every other. A strong covenant was taken between husband and wife. Who is it that can resist such a wonderful way of life? We are promised a day of justice where every deed will be mentioned, where the powerful and mighty and the devil himself will be questioned. You will not be judged by your language, your color, nor your race. The most revered amongst you will be those with fearful hearts, not a pretty face. So as long as you have Islam and follow the straight road, you will soon reach Jannah, your final abode. That's all. I'm done. Jazakallah <laughs> Again, um, from the it's the it's the feel of justice again, subhanAllah. And I love the fact that you mentioned the relationships, um, the relationship of the mother, the relationship of the spouse, um, things relationships which are so undervalued today. And I can tell as a mother uh, myself, as a mother Kashmir, and you I'm sure as a mother as well, you mentioned your son earlier on. Um you can you you never really truly understand that until you become a mother um, a child and then you appreciate your own mother as well so just after here for that sister yesterday well, yeah. Jazakallah, sister Yasmin, that was beautiful and i love the the very dr seuss style of your <laughs> poem i think i think that um it's a, a type of style that is very catchy and that a lot of people can connect to so yeah, just like I to that. make it simple so even like the young people and children can understand it easily yeah for sure and i think it, it's um in many ways more memorable that way as well so they can it's almost like it's like programmed in our minds to remember your words when it is in that kind of rhythmic style. So Jazakallah khair for that. And of course, your words were very heavy and powerful too. Thank and so um, if anyone would like to follow your work, do you have a website or social media that you'd like them to know about? No, not really. Okay, well, I would highly recommend it. If you are That's refreshing. Yeah. No, I'm just saying that's refreshing to hear, actually. Yeah. I, I, not that it's a bad thing. I but. don't really do much of it. I mean, maybe when I was younger, I used to really like poetry, especially the rhyming ones. But it's just been a long time now. And now you are a poet. Well, I'm sure you've always been a poet, but now you're a very good poet. Jazakallah khair. What you okay? What you okay? Jazakallah khair, sister Yasmin. And we appreciate you coming on and sharing your beautiful work. Actually going to be wrapping things up inshallah and, uh, the content and the relevance of all of the poems and just the diversity that we had in today's um performance set so jazakallah to everyone from the bottom of our heart as the strangers as your sisters in islam and as your fellow poets we know it's not easy coming on this platform and to share your work that's so personal to you but um we hope that our audience also enjoyed it we'd like to thank everyone we'd also like to thank ikna for hosting us on this platform um, and for making this opportunity available to our youth, to our to our whole ummah. And um, we pray that above all, everyone benefited from it, inshallah. And uh, Jazakallah khair. Aisha, would you like to add anything to that? Um, yes, subhanAllah. You know, I did not expect um, the schools to be so close together. 
and it's very important to say it was literally by a decimal point and um subhanallah like it's you were every single one of our poets um your contribution it, you know this whole kind of uh, label of winner here winner there um my sister and i we do personally dislike it but the whole kind of uh, feel of competition it just has to unfortunately just requires that you know um but you all are winners and i'm not just saying that to sound cliched but it truly is um important that you know that that your your work and your words have made a difference to someone who is listening out there and we truly appreciate especially i'm calling all the way from india some of you other people i know that you had um other engagements as well but you made the effort to come here be here share your message and it was a beautiful message jazakallah hey uh, so much and uh, we really hope we can work with you in the future inshallah future projects and um stay well and stay blessed uh and me I mean, okay, and with that, we will close today's session, inshallah. Uh, if you guys would like to check out more of our work, again, we will um, post more information on our website, and also you can check us out on our Instagram, The Strangers. And um, yeah, and alhamdulillah, today we finished on time. So, jazakallah uh, again for watching, to all of our performers, for Ikna for hosting, and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.